Hello YouTube friends, this is Rai Rai with my trouble buddy Alan plus the family. We are here in Utah and we're on our way to the Zion National Park. From this entrance gate, we need to go to the National Park Visitor Center and find the parking place. Then we need to start walking to look for those shuttle buses. These shuttle buses will gonna bring us to the station of its heights. There are six stations here because there are six hiking places. Station one is where we started and that is where the National Park Visitor Center is. And this will stop at station six where we can find the grotto. We all look tired because we just did snow tubing at Brian Head before we proceeded here. Look at those beautiful mountains, those rock formations. They're stunning. This national park is really for hikers. If you are a hiker, this is the best place for you. Because as I said, this has six hikes that you can't afford to miss. These are the famous Angels Landing, the Narrows Bottom Up, the Whipping Rock, the River Sidewalk, the Upper Emerald Pool, and the Canyon Overlook. This shuttle bus will gonna stop for each station. And if you want to explore the place and do some hiking, you're free to get off the bus. But for us, we came here late in the afternoon. So it's too late for us to start a hike. Approximately, it takes a minimum of four hours for each hike. It will be dark soon and we might be stranded on the mountains, considering that we are all newbies when it comes to hiking. So we're just gonna do a road trip through this shuttle bus and enjoy the amazing sceneries of these rock formations. Look how stunning they are. Zion National Park has the most breathtaking mountain panorama you will ever see. As if it is manually carved. But we all know it's not. It is designed by nature. And look at it. It's so beautiful. Spectacularly beautiful. The beauty of nature is really immeasurable. Look at all those rocks formations. The colors, the shapes. There's red, brown, gray. There's even white. And it is all because of the nature. Wow. It's good thing it's not snowing here in Zion. Although you'll see minimal snow dust on some mountains. Southern Utah is full of outdoor activities with sunshine year-round. Historically, this area has been rich in agriculture. And because of this national park, it now has the added benefits of great hotels and vacation rentals excellent restaurants for all types of dining, and a wide array of annual events. Music 
these reddish brown mountains they don't even look like rocks as I look at them it seems like they are more of a chop woods big bundle of chop woods before we go back to the visitor center as you can see all those natural structures they all look amazing okay obviously i no longer have energy here i feel so tired and sleepy that is because of the time difference we're three hours ahead in Maryland as compared to Utah. And as of this moment, it's already evening in Maryland. That's why I'm so sleepy. But we cannot leave this place without having our pictures taken. So smile! Of course, we need to have our group picture. As much as we wanted to do our group dancing, the bass is already leaving. So we need to rush and join the line. Okay, we're all now back in the shuttle bus. And we're going back to Station 1, where the National Park Visitor Center is. So once more, we're gonna enjoy the sceneries, these beautiful sceneries. Look how gorgeous those mountains are. I want to go back here in Zion National Park. And I wanted to explore those hiking places. And I hope it will be soon. So I'll add this to my travel bucket list. Cross finger. We're finally back to station one. The rest of the family were busy buying souvenirs. So Alan and I proceeded to the car and we took some pictures. This will be our last day here in Utah. And I'm so happy that I was able to see these beautiful places. Here we are, hitting the road again. I guess it will take us two and a half hours driving to reach Las Vegas. So I'm just gonna enjoy this awesome view. Look at those snowy mountain. They really look amazing. So lovely. And this one is incredibly beautiful. It's amazingly breathtaking. Wow, what a wonderful work of nature. I would like to make a shout out to my brother Romy and his family Eileen and Kate for the hospitality and for bringing us here in Utah. We were able to see this gorgeous mountain and we did enjoy it. Thank you, it's truly unforgettable. Okay, got our drinks from Starbucks and we're ready to go back to Las Vegas. After more than two hours of driving, we're now here in Vegas. Tomorrow, we're gonna fly back to Washington, D.C. This will be our last night today, so bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!